in your once it's developed, once it's right, developed, that's for, basically what I'm asking. Yeah, typically we would we would go anywhere from twenty to forty thousand tons at, at one time. And you're going to shoot this a couple times a week, probably. Mm -hmm. Probably. That's, yeah, it peak that's, demand. That's yeah, what I was kind of trying yeah, to get to yeah, is the, how much yeah. we're of a you yeah. know shot we're going to expect and how often. Yeah. And so you. If, if you have a forty thousand ton shot, you know it'd be once a week that you would do well, it we if you shooting. if you did it every week. But you're going to have peak demand, so sometimes you might of do course. it twice a week. So. I understand totally how I, that happens. I have a question. If, when you get into the blasting, it opens up a whole other world. I've worked on blast crews, worked in mining a lot. Um, you'll see dust clouds rise for hundreds of feet above a blast site, and it has to settle someplace. And this is in such close proximity to our communities. It's going to settle in our communities, and there's all kinds of hazards associated with that <coughs> itself. And you can't spray water trucks to mitigate that. It goes in the air. If you got a breeze, it settles where it settles. The wind blows. It. <laughs> if you address that. Yeah. You know. So I, I was. Uh, I've been with three and thirty-eight years. Uh, for for eight of those years, I was a certified blaster in California. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm familiar with that. And mm -hmm. uh, you have you have to watch weather conditions. And there's a couple of things you want to watch. You don't want lightning. <laughs> uh, if you're if you're dealing with electronics, you don't want lightning. You don't want uh, high, high winds that could maybe cause uh, static problems with electronics. And you don't want a low ceiling where it might exaggerate a noise. So all those things you got to take into account. I'm not talking about inadvertently um, setting off a blast. I'm talking about dealing with the cloud that can, I mean, I, mm -hmm. I watch the clouds yep. come up over the existing quarries out there. They go hundreds of feet in the air. Mm -hmm. They're not that close to our townships. Okay. This is. So when you get a cloud of, of, of dust and smoke from the blast that goes hundreds of feet in the air, if you've got even the slight breeze, depending mm -hmm. on the direction, it's either going to settle over the community of Mountain Gate or it's going to settle over the Shasta Lake City or further. So I'm just asking if that's been addressed, because that's a twice a week process. It's right. something you're going to wake up every day and write your name in your car here in Shasta uh, You know, Lake. I think that's an exaggeration, but we, we disagree on that, so... I think we'll just leave it at that.